Good morning and welcome to this Holy Week devotion. This Sunday is Easter Sunday. 2,000 years ago, some women got up early before dawn to go to the tomb to put spices on the body of Jesus. But little did they know that their world, our world, the world, had changed. Everything had changed. You see, the resurrection changes everything. It changes you, it changes me. It changes the basis for our faith. It gives us a renewed desire to go and serve and live for God. And it gives us that eternal hope for now and forever. The resurrection changes everything. At the beginning of 1 Corinthians 15, Paul says, For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the Twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also, as to one abnormally born. Paul speaks of the change in his life from that violent Pharisee wanting to destroy the church to now a man who lives because Jesus lives who has a hope because Jesus is alive. We see over and over and over again in the scriptures how the resurrection changes everything. It changes how we go about our daily life. No longer do we conform to the patterns of this world, but instead we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and we say we have a hope to live for. And therefore today we choose to worship the risen Lord Jesus in what we say, in what we think, in what we do. The resurrection changes everything. 1 Peter chapter 1, here we read Peter saying to all these Christians, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? In his great mercy he has given us, given us what? New birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. We can offer praise and thanks to God because he has given us new life because Jesus is alive and therefore we have a guarantee and inheritance that we will one day spend eternity with God. And this can change how we go about our lives today. We can live in such a way that we we are people of hope, sharing hope with others. We can face trials and, and difficulties knowing that They do not win. They do not have the last word because Jesus is alive. The resurrection changes everything. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, we read there that we are new creations in Christ. So from now on, Paul says, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though once we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. We are now the living example of the resurrection hope that Jesus wants to give to the world. We are recipients of this and we are now agents of of this as we declare to the world that Jesus is alive, that this creation will be renewed. The resurrection changes everything. That first Easter morning, those women went to the tomb. 
they expected to just put spices on the body. They expected to find Jesus dead. Their world was turned upside down, inside out, because the tomb was empty. Jesus is alive. The resurrection changes everything. Let's pray. Oh Lord God, we thank you. We thank you that Jesus is alive. We thank you that we have an eternal hope. We thank you, Lord, that this world, though corrupt as it is, will be renewed by you because, Lord, the resurrection changes everything. We thank you that we can participate in what you are doing in this broken world as new creations because you have changed us, because the resurrection changes everything. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will grant us of your spirit the strength, the courage, the faith to persevere, to carry on, to announce to this world the one great truth that rings throughout all of history and eternity. Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. Hallelujah, Lord, we praise you. And Lord, we ask all of this in the glorious name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be encouraged. Be blessed. Jesus is alive and he can work through you and in you to bring him glory. The Lord bless you. Thank you.